punish game. Right, right. I, I could see that. I can, I can understand that. Yep. And you'll yeah. see um, that Mr. SD's punish game is pretty powerful. If you're not ready for it, you're going to be in for a world of hurt. Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, I, I've seen some Lucas play, but I don't think I've seen uh, a Lucas main before. So we'll see how this works out. It'll be fun. Actually, he's really fun to watch. He does a great job. Oh, yeah. Very, very, fun, uh, very fun character to watch. Yeah. But, of yeah. course, with his name, um, he expects himself to SD a lot. Well, knowing oneself is very important. Yes. If you can still win while SDing, then uh, then you're doing all right. Yeah. And he's here in is this losers' quarters. I guess he is here in losers' quarters. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Losers' quarters, semis, fine. Yep. Here in losers' quarters. Ooh. Very nice KO off Goodness. the top. All right. So. Yeah. Low percentages on his first stock. Uh, so cool. Oh. All right. There's that. Lives up to the SD. name. Yep. He just air dodged off stage. Yeah, got the balloon. That means he wins. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Automatic win. If you get the balloon. Little, little known fact. That's tournament legal. <laughs> However, you still have to play the whole set. So oh, yeah. that the game can make sure that you actually do win. Oh, yeah. I mean, after you get the balloon, it's just a formality. But yeah. So it looks like Codeman isn't really falling for Mr. SD's wily tricks. Yeah. Like I said, the neutral game is more methodic with Lucas. You have to yeah. you have to really throw stuff out. You have to rely on PK freeze, and I think that uh, Code Man's been mitigating that very well. Yeah, very good back air there, catching his feet. Yep. Wow. Almost finishes him off with the uh, up smash. Mm. All right, now's the chance for Mister to do stuff. Could have gotten a really nice combo there, but he messed up the timing of no. the down air. In fact, um, he didn't quite anticipate Code Man's get up. Option there, and said, "Ooh, Ooh very, the very nice swipe. Really nice. That, that's one of the most flashy moves with Lucas. That's what makes him very fun to watch. All of his moves have a lot of visual mm. flair to them, you know. Yeah, the, the, the sparkles. It's, yeah, it's, it's all it's sparkly, it's but he's not like Zelda sparkly. Yeah, it's not. It's 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 crackling. It's yeah, a, he's crackling. He's electrified with, with happiness energy. You yep. know, because he has to crackle with happiness energy because you know his mom's dead. So, <laughs> I mean, it's better than Ness, whose dad's a phone, but." It, 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 you got it. You got it. You got it. I don't know. I mean, his dad is a phone that gives him money. That's right. that's better than having a dead mom, dude. Right. Well, I suppose so because you can talk to him. But yeah. That's that's what makes you know. If not for the uh, limitations on the name, maybe he could call himself Mr. Sad. He's a very <laughs> sad person. <laughs> very yeah. Very right, he was going. He was definitely expecting the side B there, but uh, Codemans yeah. have none of that. He's been recovering with up B because. Uh, he kind of has all the, um, what's it called? It's a word for it. Where he, ooh, 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 phenomenal nice setup. Guard. Fantastic setup. So I was setup. going to say that uh, Codeman kind of has the initiative in that he is whole stock up. And so he can just do whatever he wants off stage as long as Mr. SD doesn't go to cover it. But Mr. SD there, having none of that, right. covers the recovery. Very good KO Codeman off the top back. there. Nice stuff. I, I st I'm still in awe from that really, really good uh, setup for it was the. Beautiful. Yeah, like just catching him with the with the with the PK freeze, which keeps him in place, and just yep drop down. Oh. Uh, this is losers' quarters, and I think it's only top six. Oh yeah, so it's losers' semis. Okay, good. Right, I think it's still losers' quarters though. Okay, cool. Yeah. Because we have quarters. All right. Oh, wait. Ooh, wait a minute. No, this is semis. Finals? Yeah. Nope. Mm. Wait. 36. Never mind. All right. Semis. Almost shine quarters. spiked him. Uh, right now, it's pretty even. Uh, yeah, semis. Okay. Let's just change that then. The choice of Green Hill. Uh, kind of interesting. I suppose it gives Fox less room to run. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. ooh, kind of, kind of tricked him into uh, having a really bad position to PK Thunder. Yeah, I think Thunder. Mr. SD um, choosing the stage to get a chance to just keep Code Man on the ground and mm. keep comboing him. Perhaps that higher ceiling is going to be is going to be important in this because he got KO'd off the yes. off the top three times exactly. and then got, then SD'd for the other one. So yeah. that's that's a very important thing. All right, good ooh. job, just right, holding right. ledge, making sure Mr. SD can come back. Code Man. Didn't even take 50% yet. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Still, he's up um, decisively. Uh, yeah, up, uh, up decisively. As he was last game. It's 4-2. to two. Yeah. Mr. SD is not being able to get off his uh, cool Lucas combos. But I yeah. Think 
It's because Fox is able to contest them in the neutral. Yeah. And is able to just kind of get out of follow-ups with a, a one-frame move, if need be. Ooh, that was, what was that? Was that a wall jump? Or was that just like the weird angle going around the, the corner? Might have been a weird angle. Yeah, either way, I think that was well spaced because it, it really it kind of like throws you off on the yeah. on the spacing and the timing of the DK Thunder attack. Ooh, good use of back cool. air. Didn't didn't spike him. That probably was for the best. Oh, he wanted that ooh, so badly. Ah, uh, but he read the roll, got him, it's charged up for the most part. Not totally. Definitely in a dire position, but I think actually, yeah. I think if he can get this stock, he might be he might be in a good might be in a good way. This just he definitely needs all the momentum. He can <laughs> the good double, double spot dodge. dodge. Fox has been clinking uh -huh. with so many PK freezes, it has totally mitigated Lucas's neutral game. Yep. I don't know if that's intentional or not. Maybe it's just the fact that Fox clinks with it a lot. Ooh, all Good. right. Yeah, hey, like I said, if you get the stock, it's not unwinnable. If it's Lu not. If Lucas can get a decent amount of percentages. Oh, well, you're right. Nair, uh, Fox's Nair has just been getting rid of Ooh. PK freeze as soon as it comes out. And higher ceiling's not going to help you there. No. He was at too high a percent. That was almost 150, wasn't it? That was 170 by the time he got oh, hit. Never mind. It was just super red. Yeah. He was in the red. Ooh. All right, cool. Ooh, ooh. He that wanted that again. Very cheeky little spike there. All right. He's really trying to make this a one-stock game. Yes. Hasn't quite there we go. got. Very good combo. Yep. Now he's finally hitting those. Oh, oh even not a spike. Great maybe, job, Mr. SD. Maybe he back. intentionally didn't hit a spike on that because that hit off the side. That yeah. might have been on purpose. Well, yeah. I mean, um, Codeman, he might have thought Codeman would actually expect the spike, and it's, since it's yeah. just a meteor, On top of that, I think they might have been above the stage, so they might have been able to take the ground. Yeah, if he, uh, the eyes are real, real good. Yeah. So this is definitely winnable for Mr. SD. Yes. Certainly, he's got, he kind of has the momentum now. He's been able to just take uh, two of Codeman's stocks while he's been on one and a half of his own. All right, he's definitely got the momentum. If and he he's also getting some reads. Or hit. just like read reactions off of uh, one solid hit. Up. One solid hit should do it. All right. Oh, he oh, wanted that so badly. He's, he's charging the smashes too early. He's yeah. uh, too long rather. Ooh, good angle. That might have that might have punished uh, a get up. There Ooh, he goes. The reverse. Right behind. So there we smash. go. It's what's one one. Nice job, Mr. SD. Yeah, it's very very. Taking off, taking off the sweatshirt. Ooh. Yeah, now it's serious. Hat's already backwards. Like yeah. <laughs> What's next? Rolling out the sleeves. Feeling good. You know? Going for the. Uh, is that the Klaus costume for Lucas? I think so. Uh, is that the uh, the orange hair? Oh no. Uh, uh, I was looking like the uh, what's it called when he wears the um, the helmet the uniform. Oh, the uniform. Uh, I think that might be Klaus. I think it's Klaus's uh, clothing. Yeah. But not his hair right now. Right. So I guess uh, I guess the uh, alt is that he's wearing Klaus's clothes. Let's see, places that uh, it's just he can ban. I think he'll want to keep the tallest ceilings possible. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe now it's just Codeman deciding. I don't know what the heck's going on. Yeah, he's going stuff. with Battlefield. Battlefield it is. Not a bad stage. Pretty Not much average in every way. <laughs> what? He tried to go for that, uh, that PK yeah. Thunder. You know? Average in just about every way relative to other stages. Really can't go wrong. If you know how to utilize the platforms, it's a good stage. Mm -hmm. Um, unlike Melee's Battlefield, you can't get as badly battlefielded that's because true. of the angled slopes underneath. Yeah, that's, uh, that's definitely important. The, the topography of the stage is always very important. Yes. Uh, we were talking earlier. Great way to describe it. Uh, when, uh... Oh, the down air meteor. We were nice talking, there was, a, there was a Luigi Ike match going on. Xanda versus uh, Luigi Ike. Yes. I, uh, I think his name's Sam. Sam, yes. Xanda versus Sam. Uh, Sam counterpicked him with Yoshi's uh, Island, uh, which which is very good, not only <laughs> for Luigi, but for that particular matchup because the lips that angle downwards prevent the forward smash gimping from Ike because you can go beneath them. Yes. So all in all, that was... Oh, a wait, on Yoshi's Island? Yeah. Yes, the yeah. large, the fat one, right? Yeah, the yeah. Uh, the one with the ghost. Okay, the, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's... That's basically like we we established on stream that that was the the place to go if you're Luigi against Ike because that 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 is good for Luigi and counters Ike because the topography not only not only stops that forward smash gimping on certain occasions but also allows for Luigi to vary his height on his very long wave dash. Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah. Because yeah. um, sometimes it's a lot you don't easier know. to do that when you have just a little bit of an angle because you don't have to. Um, 
quite so sharply hold the control yeah. stick into the ground. Yeah, so even the topography beneath the stage is important because yes. it helps with certain stage spikes. That, uh, it helps with uh, being able to go beneath the stage yep. in certain with certain characters. In general, it seems like a good pick for like, like almost regardless of character, just so you don't get S-Smith. Yeah, oh well, yeah, I've counterpicked uh, uh, Yoshi's Island against Ike before and gotten pretty decent results. This game right now, let's get back to talking about the game. Yes. It's very even, very even in terms of percentage, in terms of stocks. I think it's a pretty decent counterpick so far because the last game seemed a little bit wonky, so at least this one's a little bit average. Yeah. Uh, uh, percentage lead for Code Man right now, but that doesn't really matter that much with these characters. Yeah, oh, okay. oh, oh, I think he... I don't know if he wanted to do the stall there, if he could. But it doesn't matter because Code Man didn't expect it, and uh, that gave mm -hmm. Mr. SD an opportunity. Oh, Ooh. slow get up. Mr. Again SD with the, again with the SD. Privilege. Yeah, well, that time I think he was just expecting Code Man to not stay on the ledge. He was trying to call him out. Uh. But Code Man just said, no, I'm staying. I'm doing a slow get up to boot. He's, do, he's doing a lot of weird, wonky reads, and I think most of them are working out for him, so I, I think I think it's good that he's trying them out. And uh, Lucas is definitely a character who can get away with kind of weird stuff like that. Yeah. I mean, his punish game is just so good. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, if you can fish for the weird option in neutral, uh, and it works out, it can really work out in your favor. Yeah. But right well, now, uh, for this stock... He hasn't really gotten around to doing just that, and Codeman still has his third stop. Yeah. One thing I'm noticing, Lucas has not been able to get a lot of grabs. No. You see a lot of that uh, snake wiggling, and yeah. Fox has been able to get a lot of grabs. And again with that clinking with the PK freeze, I think he's throwing those out intentionally to clink with the PK freeze. Yeah. Oh, what a great dash dance. Yeah, that is. That, that just spooked Mr. SD and kept him in his place. That could have confused anybody. That could have confused Codeman himself. Yeah. <laughs> But he caught his composure and got the up throw up smash. Yeah. All right, well, that's back a good, throw's gonna do good it. back throw. Totally not unwinnable. We Again, saw it. We saw it like come back from, from this, from worse from this position. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. So, as long as uh, Mr. SD can get in a favorable situation, get one of those wonky reads, one of those wonky little, uh, you know, edge guards, and I, I think he might have been able to do that. Oh, Very good combo. Like this. Fantastic little combo. Got out of it with a clink. Good jab to, you know, totally. Yep. Bring him back to neutral, and neutral's where I think Fox has been winning here. Yep. So, I think that was a very good uh, uh, choice by Code Man to clink with that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right, I think he, he may have wanted to turn around up smash just to catch the roll. Because mm -hmm. I don't think that would have even caught um, Ooh, okay. second place. But it doesn't matter, because Code Man's up 2 1. Yeah. Eventually gets the up smash. Mm -hmm. He does it. Upwards KO is very much uh, taking a point here. Yeah. I'm switching to Marth. I guess he uh, didn't like Fox, even though he won. Manning uh, Wario and Delfino. And right, Pokemon Stadium, too. Ignoring noise in the background. Yeah. Well, uh, Smash 4 is hype. <laughs> Contrary to popular belief. Oh, I just have no idea what like kind of noise that was. Oh, that I could not parse whether that was joy, it anger. Was, it was a little bit guttural. Uh, kind of like primal. Uh, I heard it as a war cry, so uh, let's say it's good. All right. Well, here, Code Man, he has a Marth, but uh, Ooh, didn't didn't space the I uh, the up. Why he's going Marth here? Yeah, he did, he won the last game. I mean, I know that um, you can get. Nice, easy peasy tippers off those uh, corner platforms. We could have done that in Battlefield too. Yeah. And Fox was doing so well, and the ceiling is lower here. Yeah. And yeah, Marth has good mobility, but I mean, so does Fox. I don't know. I, I I feel like Mr. SD has had the the momentum here, even though the percentage lead is pretty much non-existent. And that the stock lead yeah. is in Codeman's favor. I don't it know. It does kind of seem like uh, Codeman will have to be a little more patient. Wait for his openings and try not yeah. to um, counter poke Mr. Yeah. SD as much as he was with Fox. I just feel that Lucas is going to win the neutral here a little bit more often. If at the very least, the fact that he can't clink with those uh, PK oh freezes much anymore. And he just that got was a very a good really gimp nice as well. Engineer. Very, very good gimp there. Uh, I really like how daring Mr. SD is in terms yeah, of his guarding. Yeah, he, he, he's not afraid to do something weird. He's not afraid to do something that, that awesome. you don't see very often, and I think that's very important. It makes him really fun to watch. Oh, yeah, very fun to watch, very hard to read. I'm glad he's come around to next level. Yeah, and I'm happy to watch him. 
So the uh, that felt Ooh, there. That was, that was a neato clink. Yeah, like you could feel yeah. that. Doesn't matter what kind of weapon you got. All right, Codeman thinking that he could uh, punish the on-stage recovery. Mm -hmm. Nice little, uh, nice little jab there to to get to convert off the PK freeze. All right, so despite Ooh. Mr. SD's uh, constant aggression, Codeman's had really good defense. And oh. has been able to keep a oh. good percent lead. I, yeah, I, I feel that Mr. SD has had the control here the whole game. Oh, but he takes a good stock there. Yeah. He's, by he's catching the missed tech with up smash. He's taking the lead here, and I think it's because he's in control of the neutral. All right, but now it's tied up by a good uh, Marth Nair. Yeah. Codeman not quite suffering from Marthritis. Yeah. A, a tied game favors those who are good in the neutral, and I think that Mr. SD is still in control here. I think it's odd because uh, Marth, well, Marth's whole shtick is that he's really good with the neutral. But I guess the neutral just has to be played very differently against Lucas. Yeah. The, Although uh, he the did PK, a really good job PK of PK freeze is, is definitely an, an, important, an important tool. Yeah. And uh, the fact that he can't clink with those like he could with Fox is, uh, I think, is really falling into that. Because yeah, you're seen, at least taking the damage. Yeah. But we have seen that he could occasionally uh, nair over it. But... Uh, not quite as good as nearing into Ooh, it. And that would have been very, that very good. <laughs> that definitely would have oh, been a stock. Oh, but here, it can still be a stock, but Codeman is saving his double jump to no avail. Okay. And he loses that stock. And again, we're back to neutral. And so Mr. long. SD on his last uh, yeah. tournament stock here. Yeah, Codeman has only been really getting some good stuff off of grabs in this game. And yeah. if, uh, if Mr. SD can stay away from Marth's humongous grab, then I think that he might be able to take this game. Yeah. He has uh, this percent deficit. Oh, he gets grabbed. Not looking super great for Mr. SD, but we've seen yeah. him come back from worse. Yeah. So oh, oh fantastic! That was that a charge? Was that a uh, what's it called? Neutral beat charge down smash? Yes. Like it. Yeah. The uh, the effect makes it so. And yes. when you hit one of those smashes, you get another one. Oh, very cool. Yeah. Oh, and there he goes. And there it goes. Off that, the game that, that exact tech. Up up smash. That exact tech is what helped him win that, because the the larger hitbox on the charged up smash and what got him that game. So now it's tied two two. Well, that was really timely yeah. commentary, wasn't it? Oh uh, yeah, <laughs> I've been doing that all day. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I've been talking about tech, and people have been using that tech, and they've been winning. You should keep it up. Yeah. So let's see what happens for game number five. five. So yeah, they've just been trading games here. Yeah. And uh, yeah, Codeman, even though it looked like uh, Mr. SD was in control pretty much that whole match, Codeman did a really good job of keeping it incredibly, incredibly close. Oh yeah, very close. It, it was only, the thing is, Codeman really only kept getting that lead back when he grabbed him. Yeah. Yeah, it's neutral was still Lucas's game, and I think it's going to stay that way here. And we're, we're on Yoshi's Island here, and I, I'm not sure exactly how this is going to work out for him. Uh, I, think, I, I, I think, think I think that just on like a like a basic level, the wonkiness of the stage is going to help benefit the wonkiness yeah. of Lucas's movement and the wonkiness of Mr. SD's gameplay. I th I think is this may be a counter pick on Codeman's part, but I think it might benefit uh, at Mr. SD Ooh. like that. Ooh. And Look if anything, at that. Um, like we were talking about with the uh, angled edges there. That could have stopped him if it, if it wasn't angled. That could yeah. he could have taken the uh, the ground there if it was. Well, flat not out. only well, I mean. If it were further out, yeah. yeah. But it was um, not quite. So here, Codeman can't F smash uh, right at the edge. Exactly. So the, this is same similarly to what makes Ike not so good here. Yeah. However, Ooh. he spaces out the F smash very well there to catch Mr. SD's recovery. Mm -hmm. So it's probably on uh, Mr. SD's best interest to try to get to the ledge directly when recovering against Marth, mm -hmm. because. Uh, he basically Ooh, loses fantastic the string of up airs there. And it'll force Codeman to adapt. Yeah. Stop his momentum straight away with that PK freeze. I think that is very much helping him out yeah. here in a way that it didn't help him out in the games where Codeman was playing Fox. Right, stops him right there. And he, it's, really, it's really helping out his... his his uh, his neutral game because he stops Marth's momentum and Marth's yep. a character that definitely needs momentum to uh, to keep the neutral game going. Ooh, ooh, really good strings from Mr. SD. This Seriously, game. Oh, oh, and again with the spike. Air. 
Yeah, that was a very sharp angle. Yeah, unbefitting of a meteor. It almost looked like a spike. I, I feel like that like this that particular angle is built very much for this stage. It looks very natural. Yeah, getting nice that shy guy out of the way. But yeah, seriously, Mister SD again, is just again had with it. All the momentum. Yeah, I think all I the think punishes and is really if this is a if man. this is a counter, uh, counter pick on Code Man's part, I don't think he chose very well. It's, it just doesn't make sense. Really doesn't. I'm really not seeing what the what the logic is here. Oh, anything, oh he meteor cancels it, but just too low. And now now Lucas has the charge, and he can combo into one of his smashes and then uh, set up another one. Yeah. Ooh, However, good tipper there. Has mitigates had the good placement with F smash. Mitigates the charge. Yes. But yeah, Codeman has a bit of an upward battle. Definitely. Because Mr. SD has shown he hasn't that he just won't give up momentum versus Ooh. Oh, oh fantastic. And wow. he goes along with him to make Good sure he doesn't stuff. come back. So fantastic comeback from Mr. SD Great there. Great job by Mr. SD. That was amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Incredibly fun to watch. Keep it up. Yeah. Good, good shit. Oh, yeah. All right. How many matches do we have left? Uh, I don't know. I, 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 see, I see Spike versus Blitz, and I see Xanda versus Airwave and Winners.